In this video, we will be discussing a uh, magnetic field objective exercise 2 of H.C. Verma. The first question is like that. If a charged particle is at rest and it experiences no electromagnetic force, there may be two cases. One is uh, that there is no field uh, as there is no electromagnetic force. Okay, uh, there is no electromagnetic force means there should be no electric force as well as though magnetic force electric force will be zero only if electric field will be zero and even if there is some magnetic field the force may or may not be there so the correct answers will be a which is electric field must be zero for electric force to be zero and magnetic field may or may not be zero because even if magnetic field is non zero uh, the magnetic field may be zero in the next question it is quite similar if a charge which is at cap uh, which is at rest experiences an electromagnetic force so again the electric field must be non zero because it experiences a electromagnetic force and uh, charges are at rest cannot experience magnetic force so magnetic field may or may not be zero again the answer, answer will be a and uh, d in the third part, uh, there is a charged particle projected in a gravity free room. It is uh, deflected. So, it may be deflected by electric field and it may be deflected by uh, magnetic field also. So, we can say that there must be an electric field. No, it's not necessarily. There must be a magnetic field. No, again, not necessary both fields cannot be zero yes if both fields are zero the particle will never be deflected if both fields can be non-zero yeah both fields can be non-zero also so there will be a net force there can be a net force if the, both fields are non-zero and it can deflect so c and d should be the answer in the question number three in the next question, the particle is again thrown in a gravity free space and there is no change in velocity. So we can say the net force will be zero as there is no change in velocity or the acceleration is zero. So in the first case, the net force will be zero. In the second case, the net force can't be zero. Oh, the net force can be zero as there is no electric field and even after magnetic field is present, the magnetic force may be zero. In the third case, the net force can never be zero because electric field is non-zero and there is no magnetic field. So, there must be an electric force as electric field is non-zero and there is no other force which will cancel each other. So, the electric force will exist. So, the net force will be non-zero and it will change its speed or velocity. So, first two are correct options third is not even in the third option d when the both field are non zero these forces may cancel each other force due to electric field and magnetic field may cancel each other so the particle can move with a constant velocity and uh, there's a specific result for that e is equal to minus v cross b which we'll discuss in the next question so in the next question question number 5 a charged particle moves along a circle under the action of possible constant electric and magnetic force uh, fields which of the following cases are possible both are zero no the particle cannot move in a circle as there will be no force e is zero p is non-zero obviously this can be the case because only magnetic field is there and the particle can move in a circle e is non-zero and b is zero no this can't be the case because in uniform electric field there can be only two paths one is straight line another is parabola so this case is not possible when both fields are non-zero again in this case the motion can't be a circle the motion can be a straight line or a helical with non-uniform pitch but it can't be a circle in the next part uh, a charged particle goes undeflected in a region containing electric and magnetic field so this result must be followed I have uh, explained few cases you can have a look at this PDF 
which is given in the link below or uh, in the description so in question number seven if a charged particle is undeflected in the uniform electric and magnetic field this expression must be followed qe is cancelling q v cross b q is cancelled e equal to minus v cross b so e must be perpendicular to v as well as b so e is perpendicular e is parallel to b and uh, v is parallel to b as it is going undeflected so if both fields are parallel and particle is given a velocity along electric field or along field it will accelerate but not deflect and the next part e is not parallel to b again it is also possible if e is not parallel to b these forces may cancel each other and the particle will be unaccelerated and undeviated so in the third part v is parallel to b but e is not parallel to b again if v if v is parallel to b magnetic force will be zero but if e is not parallel to b there will be an electric force which will deviate the particle and the next part e is parallel to b but v is not parallel to e so as v is not parallel to e it will try to deviate the particle and uh, e is parallel to b so these forces will not be able to cancel each other hence deviation will occur if a charge particle goes unaccelerated in a region containing electric and magnetic field it is sure that the net force on it must be zero for that it has to follow this expression again e is equal to minus v cross b so e must be perpendicular to v as well as b so these are the two options possible e must be perpendicular to b and uh, e must be perpendicular to v or vice versa so these two things must be there v may be or may not be perpendicular to b so there is no constraint on v and b but e must be perpendicular to v as well as b In the next part there are two ions having small uh, having equal masses but one is singly charged another is doubly charged they are projected with same velocity under the same field we have to comment on their path so <clears throat> as the radius is depends on their charge all other three parameter m v and b are same for both but charge is different so uh, the doubly ion the doubly positive charge ion will have a smaller radius which is half of the radius of a singly ion particle and both paths will touch each other because they are from thrown from the same point so obviously the path will be like this and this smaller radius is of doubly charged ion and uh, bigger radius is for singly charged ion in this question there is a positive uh, uh there is an electron moving towards positive x axis and uh, what we want we want to uh, reverse it and want it to move parallel to negative x axis just by applying some magnetic field so in what directions we can apply magnetic field so we can reverse this uh, path by various applications like we can uh, reverse it like this the charged particle may go around this and move in this direction it may also go like this and also uh, the path which i can't show in this plane of paper is the charged particle is moving perpendicular to this uh, paper and again reverses in this direction and going perpendicularly downward and make a half circle then reverses its direction of motion so it may move in this plane or it may move perpendicular to this plane for that the magnetic field may be along y axis or along z axis both cases are possible positive z positive y positive x positive y all cases are possible so a and b should be the answer 
in the next part there are few expressions we have to verify which expression is correct uh, two of the following equations are wrong okay uh, two of the following equations are wrong so we can use uh, dimensional analysis here uh, just we can have e by b is equal to c so we can use dimensions to find which two equations are wrong b is by plus this again this is c square this must be some way magnetic field so when we this use it is e by c again writing it uh, c is e by b so dimensionally it is correct and uh, this is dimensionally incorrect equation use the dimensions and this is also again uh, c equation is wrong similarly we can find the other equation which is wrong in this case it um, the b equation is also wrong because we uh, it will be b by c and uh, it will come out to be b square by e which is not equal to e so these two b and c equations are dimensionally incorrect so they must be incorrect okay uh, there are few more uh, ways we can do this but for the time being as our knowledge is limited regarding these fields so we'll go by dimensional analysis to find these incorrect statements thank you